Many developers breaking into Python think they need to learn SQL to build anything real. The truth is, that's not the case at all. Nowadays, we have modern ORMs that allow us to build full databases with pure Python without having to write any raw SQL queries. One of the best examples of this is SQL Model. It's a tool that combines SQL Alchemy's ORM with Pydantic all into one. We have videos coming out all the time. Be sure to subscribe to follow along. Now, don't get me wrong. Raw SQL is great. But it's also repetitive, it's error prone, things can go wrong. ORMs solve all this by allowing us to just speak to our databases using just Python. We define our tables as classes, we query using normal methods, we avoid string concatenation, typos, and messy joins. We don't have to fight the database anymore. Here's how we used to write SQL. First, we'd have to create this connection to create a connection to a database. After we have that, I make a cursor, and this cursor allows for any type of interaction we want to have going forward with the database. And we have one long SQL query here that we used to have to type out by hand. This is the version of raw SQL that we would often use in Python. Now, this is really repetitive because now, with SQL model, it changes the entire game. We have a model that I defined here as user. This is using SQL model, which is now a combination of an ORM and a Pydantic model. So it handles all that data validation for us. We create four properties and assign the values to those. These represent an entry into the database. Once we define our model, I can create my engine, which establishes the database, and then we can run it, which then creates it in our project. This whole flow is so much better than writing those raw SQL queries. SQL model is actually built by Fast API, and this is incredible because it blends SQL Alchemy's ORM and Pydantic's data validation all into one, which is really just the best of both worlds. This means every table we define can also act as a schema for Fast API endpoints. Because SQL model is a blend of the two, it handles everything for us. Data validation data type conversions, database interaction, relationships, it runs queries, creates tables, and it does the serialization for us. In our first block of code, once we have the model, I can simply just create an object and assign the keyword arguments to that object, then add it to our database and commit it. This is all we have to do while using an ORM. If we want to retrieve a user by key, then I create an object, I tap into it, giving it our class, our model, and we're fetching the user. If we wanted to do this before with raw SQL, it kind of looks like this, and it outputs now into a cleaner syntax. Now, running a query to fetch a user from the database is as simple as creating an object, my statement, I'm going to select from the user model where we're still using that SQL syntax, but now it's structured in a completely different way that's cleaner and more readable, and it's way more Pythonic. This is still going to query us that data we're looking for. If we look at it from a different viewpoint, we start with SQL model. We make that query to fetch where the ID is met, but the old school SQL would look a little something like this. It's way more cleaner, it's more optimized, and this is where ORMs really come to life. When we're building real apps, like fast API backends, dashboards, data tools, we want our data models to be clean, predictable, and type safe. SQL model gives us that with almost no friction at all because it's built on top of SQL Alchemy. This means we still have full control anytime we need it. Now the question is, do you still need to learn SQL in 2025? Yes, you can build full apps with an ORM, like SQL model, but in the real world with debugging or tuning or anything like that, having an understanding of how SQL works is still going to be huge. So you can think of SQL as optional, and it's really helpful, so you should probably still learn the basics. So if you guys want to build real Python apps without drowning in endless SQL queries, I think that SQL model might be the way to do just that. It's one model, one syntax, and a whole lot less boilerplate. That's all for this video. 
Next time you're about to spin up your database, I want you to think about ORMs. Until next time, we'll see you then.